Alright guys, how's it going? So this week I'm going to look at the Surface Deform modifier. Pretty basic modifier and pretty easy to use to be fair, but it can be utilised in a few clever ways. So in traditional fashion, let's delete this cube. I'll press Shift and A and I'll add in a plane and I'll press Shift and A again and I'll add in a torus. Now essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick cloth simulation and I'm going to use the surface deform modifier to deform the torus. So I need to scale the torus down so it sits inside the plane. So something like this. Now because I'm using a cloth modifier I need more fidelity so I'll select the plane, I'll add a modifier and I'll do a subdivision surface. I'll keep it simple and I'll put the viewport up to something like 6 and I'll hit apply. Now to stop the cloth from just falling all the way down I'm going to create a pinning group. So I'll jump into weight paint, I'll come to the vertex tab here and I'll add in a new vertex group and I'll call this pin. Now I'm not going to be perfect here, I'm just going to create a couple of quick pins, like I says, just to stop the cloth from hitting the ground. I'll jump into object mode, I'll come to the physics tab and I'll enable cloth. Now we'll leave everything on default for now, but the thing I need to change is shape. And you can see here pin group. So I'm going to change that to the vertex group that we created, which is pins, and I'm going to hit play. And let's see what we get. So we get this horrible cloth simulation. <laughs> it's not the best in the world, but it'll do for demonstration purposes. Now in order to use the surface deform modifier, we need to select the object that we want to deform. In our case, the torus. Add modifier, surface deform, you can see it here. Now like I mentioned, it's a pretty easy modifier. So I'll use the dropper tool to select a target, which in our case is the plane. And I'll leave the interpolation fall off to 4. And the last thing you need to do is hit bind. Now watch this when we hit play. Pretty damn cool. The cloth is essentially driving the animation for the torus. Now once you've done the binding, you can actually move the object and you can see here what it's actually doing. So pretty damn cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly delete this and I'll show you a better example. So I'll delete the torus and I'll enable the plane that I made earlier on. So it's something like this. Now you can already see that doing a cloth simulation on an object like this can cause a few problems. But this is where the binding object comes into play. So with the mesh selected, I'll do the exact same as I did the last time. I'll add a modifier, do a surface deform. Now I can't see the target because I've hidden it, but what I can do is I can come down to the drop down, plane 001 and I can do a bind. Now check this out. So hopefully you can see the potential in a surface deform modifier. Like I said, pretty damn easy to use, pretty simple. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, you know what to do. Peace.